hello soul mates welcome back to my youtube channel if you are new to this channel you are welcome and if you are a returning subscriber thank you so much for always stopping by in today's video i'll be teaching you how to cut and also how to sew this beautiful and stylish off shoulder top so guys if this tutorial interests you please click on the like button drop a comment in the comment section subscribe to my channel and let's get started as you can see this top is free so i will also teach you how you can achieve yours to be fitted so guys watch this video to the end so that you can see how i was able to style the blouse to look like this and also to catch all the details about the cutting and the sewing of this beautiful blouse welcome back guys so this is the material i'll be using it is one yard and this is my invisible zipper that i will be using I won't be cutting my fabric directly because of the color of my fabric and the color of my shock so you guys won't see it so i'll be drafting a pattern so if you have your fabric you can just go ahead and drop the same thing on your fabric so the length i'm using is 24.5 so the first line you are seeing there is my bust length and the second line is my half length so my bust length is 9 and my half length is 15 at the top of my pattern paper here i'll measure my shoulder measurement divided by 2 my shoulder is 15 so 15 divided by 2 is 7.5 then after the 7.5 i'll measure 3 inches extension so 7.5 then 3 inches again so that's what i have there so i'll be ruling this line downward so the line after the 7.5, that's 10.5 all together. So I'll just be rolling it downwards just like this. So you can just roll it to meet your bust line or somewhere very close to that. So after you are done, the next thing is to go down by 1.5 inches though i measured one year but i would advise you go down by 1.5 then you roll it towards the three inches that three inches line you just roll it towards that side so i roll it inward i just took half inch inward from my shoulder then i rolled it in so now what you have here will be your armhole so you measure your armhole opening so i'm using 7.5 for mine then at this bust line i'm measuring my bust divided by four i'm adding its allowance to this but later i notice it is not needed so guys if you want your blouse to be free like mine so after taking your body measurement you add your ease allowance after one inch will be enough but if you want your blouse to be very fit you don't have to add ease allowance that means you'll be adding the zipper to your blouse so now at my waist area your waist measurement divided by four if you want to add ease allowance you go ahead and add your ease allowance at this point so if you are not using ease allowance you just measure your accurate measurement because i'm using pattern i'm not adding a sewing allowance on my pattern but if you are cutting directly on your fabric you add your sewing allowance after you've measured your normal measurement so i just connected my line like this then this point here i just connected it just like this from the arm hole to the chest line so this is what i have then i'll just go ahead and cut this pattern out so if you are using your fabric so if you are measuring directly on your fabric you would have added your joining allowance your aiming allowance and all other allowances that is needed so now this is my fabric and i'll be cutting directly on my fabric so i'm cutting the two that is the front and the back together i'm cutting it at the same time so i folded my fabric into two so if you are a big size one yard should also be enough because this is one yard and i have ss as you can see the ss by the side and by the lower part so i added half inch at the top half inch at the shoulder area one inch by the side one inch at the arm hole and one inch at the hemming side so this is what i have then i will open up my fabric so i cut out the front and the back together so now the first thing we'll be doing now is to sew this this neckline so um you'll be aiming it with half inch so it will be very tiny just fold with quarter quarter inch then you just sew on top so after sewing you should have something that looks like this so you do the same for the front and the back then you should have something that looks like this so for the wideness of the neck so you can measure your shoulder measurement that is your full shoulder measurement or you can just take out one or two inches away 
so my shoulder is 15 but i'll be using 14 to 13 14 inches here so you note the 14 inches so the rest the rest of this area you just go ahead and sew with half inch so after sewing with half inch i'm just trying to trim out this excess part that i have over here so this is what i have so now i'll be measuring the neckline that i have so i have 13.5 so i'm working with 13.5 and you know my shoulder measurement was 15 so i just remove 1.5 like that so this is the arm oh you go ahead and aim it so after aiming this i noticed that there will be a gaping at the sleeve area so what i did was to just take half inch again and just connect it to the neckline just half inch that was why i was telling you when we were drafting it that you should go down by 1.5 instead of one inch if you remember so i i'll just go down again by just half inch so that's what i'll just do to prevent the gaping so i went ahead to take the half inch i've sewn it in then i went ahead to m the arm all area so the next thing is to m the lower part of this blouse so with the aiming allowance we added, I will go ahead and aim it now. So after aiming it, so this is what I have. So this is what it looks like. So I've aimed the lower part, I've aimed the armhole area. So the next thing is to join one side. So just take note of the side you want the rope to be. So I want the rope to be at my right hand side. So I'll be joining the right hand side of my blouse. So after joining it, this is what you have then you just open it up like this then you sew down but not yet we are not sewing yet so for the rope i have the i have my pieces of fabric here it is 1.5 inches and the length is just i think about 30 inches long then i'll just go ahead and sew just to make a rope a very tiny rope that's what we are just trying to achieve so anyway you can achieve your rope you go ahead and do that so i love to turn my rope inside out so that's what I'm doing and I'm trimming the excess I have by the side before turning it out. So anyway, you know how to make your rope, just go ahead and make your rope. So you make two of the rope. So I'm just trying to turn out my rope at this point. Then after turning it out, you go ahead and iron so that you can have a very flat and neat rope. So since my rope is very busy, so what I will do now is to place it towards the armhole area. As you can see, the rope is facing upward. It is facing upward and I'm pinning it down. As you can see what I'm doing. So at the other side too of the joining, so the, you place the opening of the rope. You know we close one side of the rope. So you place the opening here to make sure the rope is facing upward. Then you pin it down. So the first thing I will go and do now is to secure this rope to these bodies. So I've secured the rope to the side. Then I'll be placing the rope like this. So it is two ways. You can either place the rope in between. Then you sew this down. And you make sure you are avoiding the rope when you are sewing. Or you can just move the rope upward like this. Then you just leave half inch space in between the rope. Then you sew it down. So any method that works for you you just go ahead and use the method but for me i prefer to remove the rope like this fold the fabric down then i will leave like one inches space below the joining that i made earlier so that the rope can pass through then i'll just sew with half inch all through so after sewing down both the front and the right and the left side so i put my safety pin at the tip of the rope then the opening i said i left at that area so i'll just pass the safety pin through the o then i'll move it downward so you do the same thing for the right and the left hand side so when you pull this rope inward it will balance like the rope will enter the o and it will look very nice and neat so after passing the rope this is what it looks like so now we've successfully passed the rope through both sides and this is what it looks like so the next thing left is the other side so like i said if you are using a zipper it is time to fix your zipper and if you are not using zipper it is time to close up the side so for me i'm not using a zipper so i went ahead to close up this side so if you are using a zipper so you open up this side towards the armhole you leave a small space at the armhole you don't open it up 
to the armhole so you just leave a space towards the armhole side then you fix your zipper you fix your zipper then you are good to go so for me i did not add a zipper that this is why my measurements are very big so my waist should be 24 but as you can see here i have waist of about 29 inches so my waist is very big so this is because of the ease allowance i added to my measurement so like i said if you don't want ease allowance on your measurement you go ahead and use your accurate body measurement then you add a zipper by the side of your blouse so this is what the blouse should look like after you are done sewing so i'll be showing you how to style it now so after putting on the blouse this is what it looks like on my body then you go ahead and adjust the rope then you also move the shoulder downward then you just adjust it so you adjust it until everything is looking okay and perfect then you go ahead and just tie the rope go ahead and tie the rope and this is what it looks like as you can see it looks really really nice and very stylish so if you don't want it to be like an off shoulder you can just leave it like this so this is the back of my blouse as you can see it is very beautiful and nice so thank you so much for watching if you haven't liked please like comment share subscribe and i will see you in my next video bye